everyone, this is Erica, and welcome to the Blacks and Period Films podcast, where we discuss black characters in period films, series, and historical fiction. Welcome, and I hope you enjoy. In this episode, we will be discussing the upcoming HBO series Lovecraft County and some exciting news from historian Annette Gordon-Reed. Stay tuned! HBO recently released a teaser for their 2020 lineup, and it was really interesting. It was really um, action-packed. And um, I was excited to see a sneak peek they had for the series Lovecraft County. So we see the characters running. They're running through. It looks like to be um, Jim Crow era South. Their costumes are amazing. But their costumes are um, bloodied, and they're clearly frightened. And then they run into what looks like a shack, um, I guess, for safety or protection from whatever they're running from. Um, <clears throat> Lovecraft County is a drama horror series, and it's based on Matt Ruff's um, book of the same name. The HBO series is executive produced by Jordan Peele and J.J. Abrams. I love both of them. We know Jordan Peele is... Besides being a, a comedic genius, he also is now a, a horror genius. He does a lot of interesting things with the genre. So the fact that he's produced, um, is executive producing this, along with J.J. Abrams, who also does amazing things with the horror genre, in my personal opinion. I love J.J. Abrams. I love the Cloverfield universe. Um, both of their names tied to a horror series um, is a recommendation for me because I love them both. And in addition to them, Misha Green who, if you are a, a fan of period series, especially with black characters, and you loved Underground, you know she was the creator of that. And um, she is the showrunner for this series. So that's really good news with the names that are attached to this project. Um, HBO describes the series as, they say, the series follows Atticus Black as he joins his friend Latia and his Uncle George to embark on a road trip across 1950s Jim Crow America in search of his missing father. So the cast includes Jonathan Majors as Atticus Black, Jenny Smollett-Bell as Liddy Dandridge, Courtney B. Vance as Uncle George Black, Michael Kenneth Williams as Atticus' father, um, Montrose Freeman. Wumi Mosaku as Liddy's half-sister Ruby Baptiste, and Anjanu Ellis as Hiptolia Freeman. Atticus' aunt and George's wife. So that, every single person on this main cast list has been in period films before. All of them have impressed me in one way or another. Um, So I'm very excited because that cast is gold across the board. The novel is set in the 1950s and deals with racism in America during the Jim Crow era under an an H.P. Lovecraft lens. So Excuse me. Lovecraftian horror is essentially basically a, genre, a subgenre of um, horror fiction, and it's centered on cosmic horror of the unknown. So that means it often features themes of detachment, hopelessness, helplessness, unanswered questions, and um, the fragility and vulnerability of human sanity. sanity. So it really is uh, talks about the unknown and, and what humans can take in regards to that and what and what they the unanswerable. And so these themes they add so much, such an interesting layer to this to Atticus's story um, and what he goes through looking for his father. It, it just it's really interesting take on on the Jim Crow era because we've seen so many stories taking place during the Jim Crow era. It's something that I see a lot of people on social media complain about, you know, so many Jim Crow era stories. But um how many of these stories have lo- used Lovecraftian horror? as a theme. How many have even used, um, I want to see more period films with black characters use, they can take place in a historical setting, but I want to see more genres, um, integrated into those type of stories. So this is really going to be a uniquely entertaining experience and I can't wait to see it. Um, and anyone who reads the black and period films website knows that I really enjoy historical accuracy. And I look for it in period projects. It really adds to it. And I have a hard time um, enjoying period films and period series and historical fiction that is not um, accurate because I know the history. And so I kind of, I can't. It's not immersive enough for me if it's inaccurate. But um, 
because this project is leaning more towards sci-fi, fantasy, maybe even alternative history, kind of like Westworld in a way, um, I won't go into this expecting extreme historical accuracy because um, it's not, I don't really expect it with this project. So I can't wait to see what they give us. So um, story number two is a potential project that historian Annette Gordon-Reed recently tweeted about. Uh, it, it's just really exciting. Uh, she tweeted about this November 15th, and the tweet reads as follows. News, I am very excited that I am in talks with the British company Lion Television and others to make my book The Hemmings of Monticello, an American Family, into a continuing dramatic series. So, we know that... Um, if for those at home that don't know, the Hemings are Sally Hemings' family, large family, and Monticello was Thomas Jefferson's plantation. This is awesome news because Annette Gordon Reed is an incredible, she's an amazing historian. And if you follow our Twitter, you've seen me retweet her and even discuss the accuracy of another period film with her. Um, so Gordon Reed is a professor of law and of history. She has six books. She won the Pulitzer Prize, the National Book Award, and many more for her book, The Hemings of Monticello, An American Family. The fact that a production company is coming to her for a continuing dramatic series is, a, is very exciting. I'm also happy that it's a British company. Not to say that American companies can't make accurate um, retellings of enslaved stories, but there have been more than one story, and I feel like sometimes their love for Thomas Jefferson gets in the way. Um, but I don't think that will happen with a British company. Hopefully not. The Hemings of Monticello, an American family, was published in twenty in 2008 <laughs> and went on to earn Gordon Reed the Pulitzer Prize for History, the National Book Award for Nonfiction, the Ennisfield Wolf Book Award for Nonfiction, and many other accolades. The book tells the story of the Hemings, whose close blood ties to our third president, Thomas Jefferson, has been systematically expunged from American history. Until very recently, um, Annette Gordon-Reed traced the Hemings family from its origins in Virginia in the 1700s to the family's dispersal after Jefferson's death in 1826. She gave the family the respect they deserve. She centered them and their story. And that's what I love so much about um, the book and about Annette Gordon-Reed, she's just an amazing historian. She can approach topics from a sensible point of view and she always takes history into account. She doesn't, she understands that the time she was born affects how her outlook on history and she makes sure that that doesn't get in the way of the truth. Um, there have been three major projects about Sally Hemings, two films, the 1995 movie Jefferson in Paris with Thondi Newton, um, as Sally, and the 2000 TV movie Sally Hemings, an American Scandal with Carmen Jogo as Sally Hemings. There was also recently a play that was very controversial and was called Thomas and Sally, and it featured the actress Tara Pacheco as Sally Hemings. So Sally has been brought to screen and stage, but never in a way that her and her family I feel deserve. I feel like most projects that feature her center Thomas Jefferson in many ways. And so, helpfully, with Gordon Reed as a consultant and her book as the premise or the basis of this project, um, hopefully that won't happen this time, you know? I'm excited about Gordon Reed being involved because she's done so much research on both the Hemings and the Jeffersons, and she just has so much knowledge. Um, I, I love seeing people ask her questions and her responding in such an articulate, intelligent manner. You can tell that she has a love for history and a love for this topic, and that's what we need in a, a period film that's based on a real family. So I'm really hoping everything works out and that we get an awesome project as a result. And of course, um, if I hear anything else about this, I'm going to be posting it about the website. I'll talk to you more about it. It's very exciting. And I'm interested to see how it turns out. You can find us on Twitter and Pinterest under the name Black Period Film. And our website and Tumblr page are both Blacks and Period Films. Our website is blacksandperiodfilms.com. And our Tumblr page is blacksandperiodfilms.tumblr.com. This has been Erica with the Blacks and Period Films podcast. Have a great day. Bye.